case in case you do not know if you did not know before before let me come and expose these men for you let me expose them some of them eh? some of them get a sense of accomplishment and pride when they feel like they can afford to mess you up wow. in the other room ah if you show them that ah um, what's it happen now why my leg they shake like this ah. welcome back to the channel with gracious right here on gracious reactions with another video you know how we do it guys uh today it's another week it's a beautiful week and go out there and make a difference wake up continue your hustle and let's go better times ahead today we've got a story on the block a disclaimer please if you're not 18 years old click off this video uh-huh if you are married and you are 18 and above we are obliged to watch this content please and please if you are below 18 years old and you come across this content give the phone to mom or click off let's get straight into today's lesson and then uh, it will mainly help our female uh, friends uh, those who are in marriages and those who are about to get married and yeah all female above 18 years let's go hi this is another Saturday. And you know what we do on Saturdays now? Hmm? We check matters arising from the other room. The other room. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. And we... I hope all of you know what the other room is. She's a married woman. She's saying the other room. The cloud nine room. The pleasure room. Let's go. Know that in as much as our men or men enjoy the activities or the actions in the other room there is something they enjoy almost even more they enjoy you enjoying the action so is it when you are enjoying the action ah guess what you enjoying the action in fact increases the intensity of their pleasure wow uh my married men there uh -huh. the subscribers and fans who are married men out there watching this channel uh, is this true i want to know uh -huh. please write your suggest uh, your, your thoughts in the comment section below let's go let's learn <laughs> it makes them to become even more turned on yes yeah, so <laughs> so you when you are enjoying it and you are you know feeling the action please you have to show the intensity of your enjoyment but i i like this woman because uh, a lot of ladies uh kind of say tend not to talk about this uh -huh. but she's bold and she's out talking about it and i think uh, it's it's a very good stuff yeah let it be known that ah oga I'm feeling you today. Oh, ah, ah. I'm feeling this thing. You're not supposed to be giving them the dead fish experience. You're not supposed to be cold, just there, plain. How can you say you are enjoying something and you're just there, plain, eh? boring? Ah, ah. No, now that's very discouraging. Bench. What you want to bench? Uh, it was an interview I watched and then Charlie, it was, it was crazy. The man was complaining that any time uh, him and the wife, they are making out, the, the wife just <laughs> well, sleeps on the bed it, like head be a non-living thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. In case, in case you do not know, if you did not know before, before, let me come and expose these men for you. Let me expose them. Some of them, eh? <laughs> Some of them get a sense of accomplishment and pride when they feel like they can afford to mess you up wow. in the other room. Ah, if you show them that, ah, um, what's it happen now? Why my leg they shake like this? Ah, ah, you feel your leg they vibrate. You cannot, you, you, you can't stand. You're just doing somehow like, ah, 
get up, Mama. I'm sleepy. I'm really, really, really. Oh, you know, wait till you Ah, man. You know, that brings up a sense of accomplishment and pride. No matter who he is, big or small, rich, poor, <laughs> you will be surprised. This one is dramatic. <laughs> and the way this gender take this thing very serious extremely serious hmm. so please this is me coming this morning this this morning we're not here for long talk my own is if you they feel the thing make them no say you they feel them come on small ringtone bring no say no i'm the silent type mm -mm. ah yourself which 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 won't be i learned it takes two for the game to 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 be uh, understand memorable and then yeah pleasurable the more uh -huh. so i think she's confirming what i've, I've learned uh, some days ago i'm the silent type i beg even if now whisper come on ringtone bring out something make the 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 whole experience enjoyable memorable and pleasurable let them not feel like they are forcing themselves on you because you're just there no 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 movement no reaction, nothing. I know very well, yes, I know that. <clears throat> Most women, the way they were brought up and all, they they really made this whole action in the other room look like a very a bad taboo, thing. Kind of they taboo. vilified it so much. They made it look like a no-go area, like a taboo. So, yeah. Most women grew up with that mindset. That thing is still in the system because when uh, we were growing up, Charlie, if you are not careful when that word comes out of your mouth in the in the home, like they will see you as a villain. Seriously, the word sex, if it comes out of your mouth or you mention a private, uh, kind of say, uh, uh, guy's private part, private part, Charlie, you will be in trouble. They will keep you up. So that that kind of mindset, you know, it it it's kind of affecting a lot of uh, marriage couples in terms of exploring. Uh, the normal like exploring more in terms of sexual activities that it's only men who that should show that they like this thing no? women don't show eh you guys the only way they know that you are chaste you are good girl you are vet you're vicious that's the only way they will know that you know you, you are meek and you are good it's a lie please show express it's very important Nobody wants to be with a cold fish on bed. It's weird. Extremely weird. Ugh. Oh, ma. Get that CBO. Nobody's judging you. Don't be scared. Nobody will judge you. Inside of that place where the both of you are, be as wild as you. You can allow your mind to be free yourself. Be wild. Express yourself. There is this uh, wedding advice that I heard. It was in three, but I think I can translate it for you. The, the mother of the bride was advising the bride to be a whore for the husband she said the, uh, the the bride should be a whore for the husband only uh -huh. we know what whores do in bed the sleepings so be that kind of woman for your husband only in bed and i think that's what she's arriving at right here so let's go don't hold yourself don't be tight don't be cold you know please make this thing enjoyable for the both of you and guess what when once you because you're in fact the, the funny thing is because you're thinking of and eh, let me be poker face let me not show that i'm enjoying this let me you're thinking you're engaging your brain elsewhere so you cannot focus on this side so your pleasure cannot be you know maximized you cannot enter the intense level but when you free your mind relax yourself open yourself up i think a lot of women have been complaining about them not having the word orgasm uh -huh. and i think this is the cause because if you are free-minded and you are concentrated on what is going on what the two of you are doing you reach cloud nine very easily uh -huh. we learn a lot you may say Grishos is not married and he's talking about it but we learn and we study a lot so that's it but this enjoyment that is coming to you receive it and flow ah you will experience a different level of intimacy and a different level of this thing that you've been doing for a while you see it you come out in a very different light the level of the work the everything will be different 
for straight and see. I have to do this one no? because me when most time when more than five people have complained about the same thing, I cannot be telling everybody the same. I will just come and do a video so that when you watch it, you know you get it. So, ladies, please try for the men now. Mm? I beg now, you should stop making them feel bad. I do. Have a lovely day. Wow, she's a very good storyteller, and then. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, she can act, yeah, very, very good in presentation and reporting of such matters, and she will be a very good counselor as well. Uh, that's it for today, guys. If you so if you like this video, uh, subscribe and share, and let me see your thoughts in the comment section below. Peace, shalom. You know how we do it. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.